with Lisa over at um, Skeletons on My Shelves. <laughs> Almost fucked up that username. Um, we are here at Nicola's house, who is Robotnik on YouTube, and we have been in Scotland since Friday, and it is now Monday. We are going home today, sad yeah. face. We have been to the Edinburgh Book Festival and all around Edinburgh, and we have met up with Jean from Bookish Thoughts and Lorna from Suddenly Lorna. I will put all the links in the description below. Um, but today we decided to film a tag together. So we're going to do the My Life in Books tag, and it was created by Danny Carlin. And I was actually tagged by Danny herself. Little disclaimer, we're gonna be half using our own bookshelves and half using Nicola's bookshelves for different questions. She's currently in bed at the moment, so um, she'll see this later. Just taking advantage of her <laughs> yeah, bookshelves. Of her oh, lovely bookshelves. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. Okay, question one. Find a book for each letter of your initial. Mine is KLH. Mine is LCM. And we are going to use Nicola's bookshelves, so let's go. Okay, so the three that I found was Jack Kerouac's Lonesome Traveller for L for Lisa. I found David Mitchell's Cloud Atlas for Claire, or for C for Claire. And I found Martin Alice Money for Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. For K, we've got Kafka on the Shore by Haruki Murakami. Yes, excuse my really bad <laughs> Japanese, I'm gonna hesitate a guess at. Um, for L, it is Looking for Alaska by John Green, much easier to say. <laughs> and for H, it's How Should a Person Be by Sheila Hetty. Question two is count your age along the bookshelf and what book do you pick? I am 22 and 22 books along was The Unbearable Lightness of Being by Milan Kundera. Why do I always get the really awful authors <laughs> I can't pronounce? <laughs> Um, Katie then counted 20 along the bookshelf for me and I got a James Joyce book which is quite fitting and it's the portrait of the artist as a young man. The next question is to pick a book set in your country, state or city and I picked James Joyce, a portrait of an artist as a young man because it's set in Dublin I think, or Ireland at least. I'm going to pick Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare because it's set in London or any of the infernal devices to be honest. When I was reading Clockwork Princess I actually heard two town names which are really close to me so I was like oh my god! <laughs> it was really cool. I was like, yeah. ah, I know those places. <laughs> Pick a book that represents a destination that you'd love to travel to. <laughs> Mine would probably be the Night Circus because of the fact that they travel all over the world, and that's the that's what that's I want to do. Yeah, yeah, I picked that. Mm. I kind of want to travel everywhere, so like, there's no particular place I want to go. So I'd like oh, all the books, but different places. Hmm. I don't have an answer to this one. Pick a book that's your favourite colour. The book that I found on Nicholas Bookshelf that is my favourite colour is Right Hole Jeeves by P.G. Woodhouse and it's purple, it's yellow on the back, but purple. It's really it's pretty. pretty. Yeah. yeah, I like the colour as well, it's yeah. nice. And I have chosen, um, from Nicholas Bookshelves again, um, I've chosen The Humans by Matt Haig and this is a lovely kind of teal colour. I know it goes from like a navy blue to a teal but it's just this bit that I absolutely love. Question six, what book do you have the fondest memories of? Let's reminisce guys! <laughs> do you want to go first here? Um, it's your tag, you should go first. Yeah. I wasn't even tagged, Shots. I'm just here. The Alex Ryder series. Um, it was like one of the first kind of series, kind of teen kind of series yeah. that I read. Like Stormbreaker and Skeleton Key and stuff like that. I'm still yet to complete that, but they were, they were just the kind of things that I grew up with and stuff like that. And when the film came out, I was incredibly disappointed because it was crap. Awful. Ugh. And it was so stereotypical, like, you know when you have villains and they're like, mwah ha ha ha. Yeah. They literally <laughs> had a villain that spoke in like a French accent and was like, mwah ha ha. And I was like, you are kidding me. This didn't even happen in the book. That's brilliant. <laughs> it was awful. Um. The book that I have the fondest memories about would probably be Twilight because I think I told you this before, like it was kind of the book that like when it came out everyone was reading it and like that's how I made a lot of my friends in school because they'd be reading Twilight and go, you're reading Twilight too. <laughs> what team are you on? <laughs> then you'll see the movies with them and I made a lot of my friends I like that. I think we were so. kind of like that at school as well. Yeah. Question number seven, which book did you have the most difficulty reading? When I was at school we like studied things like Midsummer Night's Dream and Romeo and Juliet and things like that. I just don't get Shakespeare's language. I would probably say Wuthering Heights because I had to read it for school but it wasn't like 
we were reading it as a group, so like it was kind of quite hard to keep up and understand and get all the things, so I'm just going to say that. Which book in your TBR will give you the biggest sense of accomplishment when you finish it? And I think that I already know what one mine will be. <laughs> mine will be the um, Song of Ice and Fire series. I'm still yet to finish the second book. Uh, the way I'm going, it's going to take me years to finish the whole series <laughs> because of the fact that I'm going on a thing of um, read one, wait six months, then read one, but I always read half and then read two books in between and then read the last half and stuff like that just to break, to break it up. up. Yeah, exactly, because it's just so humongous. I would probably agree and say the same because I have the three books on my shelves and I'm just looking at them and they're like daunting me. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, it's like they're mocking me every time I go to pick out a new book and I don't. You them don't have the all. capacity to yeah. read me. <laughs> yeah, so I'd probably say that as well once I get all of them read. I'm quite yeah. really happy. I'm going to tag Lorna over at Suddenly Lorna, Nicola from Robotnik, Jean from Bookish Thoughts, and ben. shall we tag Ben as well because he was feeling quite left out that he wasn't here. Yeah, and because <laughs> Ben is feeling left out for not being here, we're going to tag Ben from Benjamin of Tomes as well. Even though I don't know why you're depressed that you're not here, you were in America at Big Con. But yeah, that's all from me from Bonnie Scotland, and I will, I'm sure I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.